fear and hope. That's what you walk on. And I was with somebody who's very close to death. You know, I mentioned the Akhra and they really began to weep and mentioned that how afraid they were of Allah. And I said, you have to forget all fear. And that's the Sunnah. When you're in the what's called Ihtidar, when you're close to death, you forget about fear. And you have a good opinion of your Lord. Fear is only applicable when you are in the world and have the ability to disobey Allah. Once you're incapacitated in your bed and you've made your tawbah, you should have no more fear. Because the ulama say that tawbah should be with jazm al-qabul, that you should believe absolutely that Allah accepts. Because Wahshi, when he went to become Muslim, he killed Hamza, Asadullah, Sayyidah Shuhada. This is the man that killed Hamza. When he went to the Prophet ﷺ, he thought that he would never have a tawbah accepted. This is Wahshi, the man who killed one of the closest human beings to the best of creation. And the Sayyidah Shuhada. This is his state. He thinks, how could I ever get tawbah when I killed Hamza? What did Allah say? قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Oh my servants who have done grave wrongs, don't despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah forgives all the wrong actions. This the ulama said, Arja aya fi kitab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala li ahl al-kaba'ir. This is the most hopeful verse in the entire Quran for the people of major wrong actions. And that's why if you are close to death, then you leave your fear. And you go into a state of total hope and just believe that Allah is going to forgive you. Don't have a bad opinion of your Lord. I am in the opinion of my servant. I am in the opinion of my servant. And we believe our Lord is a merciful Lord. He just rahma. He has prescribed for himself. He's made it an obligation to show mercy on himself. He's not obligated to do anything. And yet he has prescribed for him some mercy. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. And that's why one of the ulama, he never mentioned the hell in any dars he ever gave. And when he died, one of his companions saw him and he said, Mada fa'ar Allahu biik? What did Allah do to you? He said, Awqafani anduhu. Wa qala, Limada lam tadkur nari li ibadi. He brought me in his presence. He said, Why didn't you ever scare my servants with mention of the fire? He said, Ya Allah. I wanted them to love you. And he said, I forgive you. And this is time of maghfira. The heart should be open to the rahmah of Allah. Don't close the heart to the rahmah of Allah. Be open to the rahmah. Whatever you've done, whatever you've done wrong, just trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your wrong actions did not diminish his kingdom one iota and your good actions don't add to his dominion one iota don't give yourself so much importance that anything you've done is of that much importance those things if you turn to allah sincerely in tawbah allahumma aghfirli dhunubi oh allah forgive my wrong actions hassan al-basri was asked about a man yuznibu fayatubu fayuznibu fayatubu sab'ina marra fi nahar he does wrong, then he makes tawbah. He does wrong, then he makes tawbah 70 times in a day. He said, Laysa illa min akhlaq al That's the characteristic of a believer. I mean, it's the one who never thinks about it that's in the big trouble. And then there's people that are mubtalayat. They have big tribulations. I mean, I was sitting with somebody the other day and he said to me, a mu'min will never do anything wrong on purpose. Well, what do you mean well, he won't do anything wrong on purpose? We're angels, malaika. No, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says those who do wrongs out of jihadatin, out of ignorance. Jahala there doesn't mean ghayr amd. Look in the tafsir. When Allah says that those who have done wrongs out of ignorance, it doesn't mean that they didn't do it intentionally. Ajma'at al-sahaba radiallahu anhu ala anna hadha laysa bi ma'ana adam al-amd. I mean, that's ijma' of the sahaba. That's not what that ayah means people do wrong actions and you make tawbah so this is a time of tawbah and renewal and that's what he's saying put out the flames of the fire with the Quran the Quran Surah Al-Baqarah 
actually will appear in the grave and protect the people that knew it. Surat al-Mulk is called Surat al-Munjiya. The one that recites Mulk every night, Mulk will come into the grave and it will not allow any harm to come to you in your grave. That's a wa'ad from the Prophet ﷺ. 30 ayatan tamannaytu an takuna fi kulli fi qalbi kulli mu'min. There's 30 verses I wish was in the heart of every believer. Tabarakal ladhi bi yadi. To recite that. And these are blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this ummah. Ka'annaha al-hawdu tabiyaddu al-wujuhu bihi min al-usati wa qad ya'uhu kal-humami. As if it were the pool of paradise. This Qur'an is like the hawd. As if it were the pool of paradise by which the char black faces of the disobedient are cleansed and brightened. When you come to it with all your wrongs and it erases your wrongs. Tamhuha. It just removes them. And that's the power of Karam Allah. It's the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Allah's words.